All right, I got done uh, just now um, programming some AT Mega 328P-PU Arduino chips. Uh, uploading the bootloader to the chip because they're newly purchased from Tayda Electronics. That's T A Y D A Electronics.com. It's um, got really it's from China, of course, but it's really cheap. You can get a ton of stuff uh, for next to nothing, so uh, I recommend them. And uh, you, you can get expedited service, which you, <laughs> you can't get from a lot of these Chinese companies. And I think it was within a week I got all my parts, so I was very happy with that. Uh, anyways, um, this the breadboard I set up. You can see there's a USB tiny over here, ISP. The, this uh, little... Um, uh, interface I set up for the USB Tiny um, ISP. This is the chip. This one is actually already programmed, and I'm going to show you that first. Uh, I put a white mark on the ones that I program, and the ones like over here, uh, the ones that don't have the white mark on it, so the ones on the right, uh, I'm going to be programming. Uh, you have two options with the USB Tiny ISP uh, for power. Um, here you can see I have a, a DC power supply uh, hooked up to the circuit. Now uh, you have the option here. Uh, there's a small. I can zoom in here a bit. It's getting in the way. You see that right? That black uh, jumper. So if you pull that out, uh, then the USB Tiny ISP does not supply the five volts. Uh, to the circuit so you can actually use your own power supply to power it now um, I'm, I'm not sure about the protection uh, of the USB tiny SP uh, as far as two voltages one from your computer let's say and the other from a separate power supply uh, coming together uh, so what I did was is um, in hooking this up I have two jumpers over here red and green so if I'm going to uh, undo that jumper and have my separate power supply then I'm going to um, not have these jumpers in here and that will mean that right here all that's going to be um, programmed is the um, or, or sorry all the only pins that come from the USB tiny SP are going to be the uh, MISO the Mo Mossy and the uh, uh, SCK, the reset, but the ground and VCC will not be transferred over to here. And um, But in the configuration I have right now, I'm going to uh, set it up so that uh, actually it, the power will come from um, the computer and the, through the USB Tiny SP. Okay, so I got those two jumpers in there. Now my color scheme is um, Miso is yellow, VCC is red, SEK is blue, Mossy is white, uh, Reset is black, and Ground is green. And there's the AT Mega 328P-PU chip and uh, the different places that the pins go. And you see the red on top is one so basically it's you see the red strip here so if we're looking at from the back side of it this would be one pin two pin three pin four pin five pin six and i'm going to actually just unplug that for you here and show you so the one closest to the red is one so and unplug it before I plug it back in okay and so anytime you're disconnect or sorry reconnecting any uh, wires or anything you want to unplug the power um, so what we're going to do now is actually uh, program uh, a chip that needs uh, a bootloader and before you do that now I've already done this and it took me a while to figure it out uh, and I had to kind of piece it together 
but the two pla places that you need to go are uh, this guy right here is the um, uh, out of fruit website um, and so I needed the driver for Windows uh, 64 for it so I just uh, downloaded that um, and then you have to go into your uh, control panel your um, device manager and uh, let's see There it is, devices and printers. Sorry about that. Um, okay, so and in hardware, properties, uh, driver, and then driver details and update, update driver. And then you want to go to the select, uh, the, where that file you downloaded, you want to go, um, you want to select that folder, uh, and then uh, Windows will find the driver for it. And you're going to get a warning saying this is not, you know, recommended or, or verified by Windows, blah, blah, blah. And uh, that's fine. Uh, so after you're done with that, um, you want to go to SourceForge. This is the website here. SourceForge.net projects WinAVR files. And uh, download here uh, the WinAVR. And this will get you the most uh, current um, AVR software, um, uh, including the, uh, it includes that uh, AVR dude. So that's uh, all this information here is uh, when you uh, load uh, a program onto your Arduino chip is uh, processed using AVR dude. Now this is a circuit that uh, I kind of modified. I, I originally downloaded this a few months ago and I've been working at uh, programming the chips. It's been a while. Uh, but uh, I modified it. You, you see there's a diode LED here, the resistor is not needed. Uh, the crystal is probably the most important thing is that uh, some of the videos will show two capacitors from one from uh, pin ten, 9 to ground and then another capacitor from pin 10 to ground with the crystal this is a 16 megahertz crystal um, but it wouldn't work it wouldn't work with for me it wouldn't work without the crystal and it wouldn't work with the capacitors in there, and that's why I I, I kind of folded the page because this this uh, shows an optional crystal circuit. So if anybody has anybody watching has any enlightenment on why that works for other people, because obviously it does if it's so widely used or um, printed. Um, so, anyways, I welcome comments. Um, everything else here. Here's a switch that I put on there. Um, the three wires over here, one, two, three, yellow, blue, and white. And I color coordinate everything so it, that it wouldn't be confusing. Um, and uh, this this LED over here is, it doesn't have to do with this circuit. It just tells me if I'm getting power um, from either here or an external power source. So let's go ahead and uh, I'll show you how to run the IDE to uh, to learn, you know so once when you sorry I forgot to tell you uh, with the driver before you uh, install the driver um, you know you want to have it disconnected and then um, you know connected connected and then Windows will pop up a little 
thing that says, hey, you know, search for the driver, that type of thing. So you could do it that way. I had to do it the hard way. But uh, anyways, so we got it connected and the power is coming from, we got the jumper in here. So that's the power is going to come be coming from the USB Tiny ISP. And uh, we're ready to rock and roll. Uh, except for the fact that I got to put in a uh, chip that is uh, fresh without bootloader. So I'm going to do that. Okay, as you can see, I got a chip in that does not have the white mark. And we got power coming in from the USB Tiny SP. That's the LED turning on. And all this LED over here is telling us is that we have uh, uh, power coming, or the USB is hooked up. You don't have to have the driver installed for that green light to come on. So, uh, anyways, uh, here we are. We're going to tools. This is all you have to do. It doesn't matter what board you have selected. I've only selected the Arduino Uno, but you have to have some sort of board selected, but it doesn't matter. The programmer, though, has to be the USB Tiny SP. And then, burn bootloader. Now, you see it says, burning bootloader to I.O. board. This may take a minute. I'm going to pause this video while that runs. As you can see, the LEDs here, the three LEDs for MISO, MOSI, and SCK are all kind of lit up. Uh, they they kind of flicker, so you can tell the data is being... Uh, transferred back and forth, and uh, actually, uh, it's more writing too. So, um, and uh, so I'm going to let that go, and then I'll be back once it's done. Okay, so as you can see, it says done burning bootloader, and all the lights are off now. That red light there, uh, it's on when it's programming. Uh, all three of the uh, lights here, LEDs are off now. Uh, so, what we do to uh, test it, as I wrote a little um, program, um, similar ones I've seen on YouTube, um, but it tests those three LEDs since it's convenient since we already have them hooked up. Um, and so here, now on this one, I have the IDE as uh, the programmer is USB Tiny ISP, as we know. But over here, I just launched another window, and you can have uh, this one selected to um, AVR ISP MK2. And so uh, then you uh, want to actually. Uh, Upload using, uh, well, actually, if you're going to use the Arduino, then you're going to want to use the uh, um, AVR ISP MK2 and select the Arduino Uno. You can, however, also use the USB Tiny ISP to upload it. Upload user programmer. You, uh, sorry, upload using programmer. So we're going to do that. So it's compiling. There we go. There's the clock and data. And that's my program right there. The three LEDs will uh, just uh, turn on and off in sequence. And uh, All right, so let's try to get this thing in focus. There it is. Okay. So now if I press the reset button, it resets it. Now um, I'm going to unplug the USB Tiny SP, which we are uh, using as our power because we're, we're, done, uh, we're done with uploading. We're done with the computer. So we're going to unplug this guy. And now, obviously, we have no power. I'm going to hook up my own power here, which is 5 volts. I found that the Arduino, uh, or sorry, the uh, AT Mega 328P-PU will operate as low as 3 volts. Three, sorry, 3.3 volts. 
But there you go. So I got my I'm drawing uh, 20 milliamps, uh, operating at 5.4 volts. Everything is awesome. So there you have it. That's uh, that's upload. Oh, last thing I have to do is mark that uh, chip as having a bootloader on it. So thanks for watching and. Uh, Remember hit the like because the more likes you have on YouTube, the more um, people watch. So, thanks.